Well, this next award is near and dear to my profession. The designers continually refine and reinvent the way we exchange ideas and information. The finalists for communication design and Huff are Huffler and Frere, Jones and Project Projects. Congratulations to our finalists. And this year's winners for communication design is Rick Valicenti, my table companion. <laughs> Rick's graphics bristle with innovation, imagination, curiosity, and craft. He has been a leading pre presence in design as a practitioner, an educator, and a mentor. In 1988, he founded Thirst, a Chicago-based design collaborative devoted to art, function, and authentic human presence. We all need that, don't we? And here to present the Communication Design Award is graphic designer and Grammy Award winner, Stefan Sagmeister. Good evening, everybody. Uh, as most of you know, especially in this room, the really the big problem with uh, coming up with a good piece of design is that it's so unbelievably difficult. And this whole thing gets even more difficult if you have to come up with a good piece of design over many years and in the case uh, of our uh, National Design Award winner tonight, over many decades. And it really becomes truly crazy impossible if you need to come up with these good pieces of design in many different directions, in many different conceptual directions, in many different stylistic directions, and in many different formal directions and that these directions actually matter, that, uh, that they are relevant to the time and that they are, uh, remain influential. And I think that I truly know only one graphic designer in the United States who really, truly has been able to pull this off over many decades. And uh, that's our National Design Award winner, Rick Valincenti. Please say welcome to him. Got a souvenir. It's in my pocket here. Thank you so much, Stefan. Thank you so much, Smithsonian Cooper Hewitt, for this year's National Design Award in Communication Design. I accept this recognition in the name of the studio's thirst in moving design, along with my brilliant, trusted, and unflappable and valued collaborators with whom I share this life's work, John Pobajeski and Bud Rodeker, both here this evening. And to my sister and studio manager of 23 years, Barbara, thank you so much. I also want to acknowledge the principals of Project Projects, Prem, Adam, and Rob, along with Jonathan and Tobias of Heffler and Frere Jones. All of you are adding such brilliant, important work to the living canon of design excellence. We all thank you. Five years ago, when I was 55, I indulged myself with a week in Milton Glaser's master class. For the first assignment, he asked us to describe ourselves on our perfect day at work five years into the future. On the next day, some of us were invited to read our descriptions of that perfect day. Milton warned us, however, that some of the guys in the class would likely describe a day when they pulled their car into the garage under the studio, go upstairs, pass by the receptionist's desk where they'd pick up their phone messages. They'd walk through the studio to their office in the back. There they would make a few calls, check yesterday's mail, find out that they had won yet another design award. <laughs> then they'd go back to the studio. They'd review and direct the work in progress. Around noon, they'd leave for lunch and an afternoon of golf. <clears throat> well, Milton, that's not exactly my perfect day at the studio. My perfect day shares everything that is the practice of design right there alongside of the passionate and the curious. Together, we generously do all we can, the midwife, the most thoughtful and meaningful work out into the world. We respond to the challenges that are both fun and uh, self-initiated. 
And when that day is done, we show up again to do it all over in the hope of getting it right. As a mentor and educator, my perfect day has me consciously doing all I can to ensure that the next generation of designer has laser-focused aim and enough stones for their slingshot. And as a citizen, my perfect day, I am avoiding those requests to communicate messages of no value, choosing instead to craft messages of keepsake and social value. So thank you for the opportunity to be before you this evening. May our shared spirit of generosity and human presence live forever by design. Thank you. Thank you, Stefan, and congratulations to Rick.